Kia ora, good evening, and mana watia a matariki. Happy New Year. A new day, a new year, and a new way forward for our country, believed to be the first in the world to mark an Indigenous event as a public holiday. Matariki, the Māori New Year, is a time for remembering the past, celebrating the present and looking to the future. And it kicked off with a special dawn ceremony at Te Papa in the capital, where the Prime Minister said it's our moment in time to come together as one nation underneath the Matariki stars. We start with Leighton Haeckel on Wellington's waterfront tonight, and Leighton, Kiwis have certainly embraced it. They certainly have, Laura. There are thousands of people down here out and about on Wellington's harbour and it's been the perfect day to celebrate Matariki. Early this morning the air was still, the ocean was calm and the sound of that hotapu ceremony rung out across the area under the stars. The dawn of a new day. A new year for not only Māori but us all. Heralded by the rising of this special and significant cluster of stars, Ngā Mata o Tiariki o Tāwhiri Mātia, or Matariki for short. The ceremony called a hotapu took place on the balcony at Te Papa. It signifies the start of the Māori New Year as the smoke from the kai, or food, rises to feed the Matariki cluster. And it was led by renowned expert in Māori tikanga, Sir Po Temera, who says there are three key messages. Matariki Hunganui, remembering those we have lost in the past year. Matariki Ahunganui, celebrating the present with food and whānau. And Matariki Manako Nui. It is a moment to look to the future and dream about a brighter tomorrow for all of us who call this country home. And it's been a moment, years in the making. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern first campaigned on the idea at the last election. This is now an official holiday that does not divide us by Māori ancestry or other. Rather, it unites us under the stars of Aotearoa. This is about uh, who we are moving forward as a nation. So this is legacy building, but for all of us. But it was a long road to get here. An advisory group was set up to ensure the holiday stuck to Kopapa Māori, or the Māori approach. Head of that group was Indigenous expert and astronomer, Professor Rangi Mātāmua. I'm elated. I never ever thought that I would be standing in this position and people around the country have just taken it on with such zeal because of the principles and the values that underpin this holiday. This morning's ceremony was broadcast right around the country on many different platforms. A first and a clear display of the Matariki message. The stars of Matariki are slightly different in their position, size, brightness and what they represent. Yet, regardless of their individual characteristics and purpose, this morning they rose together as one cluster, as one family. This is the message of Matariki to all of us. Events are happening around the Motu or country promoting togetherness. I believe that this is the first reintroduced Indigenous holiday anywhere in the world. Today, a turning point for not only us here in Aotearoa, but everyone across the globe. OK, Leighton, how are Kiwis celebrating where you are right now? Well, Tom, down here on the water, waterfront, there is plenty to see and do. There is some music, and as you can probably tell behind me, there is a, a lights and fire festival going on. Everyone's just really enjoying each other's company. But right around the country, in each other's own homes, people have celebrated in their own way. For instance, in, in my whānau, they spent some time at the marae and at home, uh, reflecting over uh, the past year at, with some really good food. And we also asked how others spent their day. We all get to be off today and we all get to celebrate Matariki and his birthday, so it's a bonus. We're going to go and visit um, a place where my, my dad um, passed away a couple of years ago. We're going to go and remember him. We celebrate it with all our whānau. I did this hangi with, with my, yeah, with all vegetables. Uh, Chilling with whānau. Uh, yeah, and just <laughs> eating out along here and just having fun. Matariki! And now, Leighton, the celebrations aren't over yet, right? 
much. Definitely not, Tom. Uh, there's still the long weekend ahead and plenty of things to do. Uh, in about an hour's time here, though, the fireworks are going to take place uh, and thousands of people have turned out to watch them. It has been a bit controversial, however. Some Māori leaders said that uh, it's not the right way to celebrate Matariki, but the council has decided to go ahead with it anyway. Despite the controversy, uh, I think it, it really embraces that message of togetherness with many people out here and it's a perfect way to round out this uh, Matariki uh, first public holiday. You go in, and enjoy the evening. That is Leighton Haeckel in Wellington for us. And now to Tamaki Makoto, Auckland, where Zane Small joins us live. Zane, how are people there celebrating Matariki tonight? Well, it's a wet and windy night here in Auckland, but the Harbour Bridge has been lit up magnificently to recognise Matariki. The display behind me is said to represent the, uh, the narrative of Ngāti Whātua Oraki and the theme Ahi Kāroa, or Long Burning Fires. Now, this isn't the only light show in downtown Auckland. Queen Street has also been lit up with unique artwork and light shows to reimagine a stream that used to run down the Queen Street gully that's long been taken over by urbanisation. Now, Aucklanders can also catch a daily light show that will illuminate the entire front of the chief post office at the bottom of Queen Street. This will run daily until July 16 and start at 6pm. Zane Tenakwe.